I'm Pat Lanchoni here with Chris Stefanik, and here is your three-minute reset. Today, I'm thinking about faith. How's that for a specific thought on this podcast? But I'm thinking about faith as the gift that it is. And that's kind of confusing to people to think faith is a gift. And presumably, if you're listening to this, like me, you want to grow in your faith. And so when we think about growing in our faith, we think about all the things that we need to do for that to happen. We think about, oh, I need to read the Bible more. I need to go to church more. I need to maybe listen to this podcast and do things like that. But the interesting thing about it is faith is actually a gift from God. And though we need to participate in that, the first thing we need to do is pray for greater faith. And so when I pray, oftentimes the first thing I say is, please give me more faith. Because having more faith makes all of this more likely and easier. You know, one of my favorite scripture verses about this, there was a guy who encountered Jesus and he was begging Jesus to heal his son. And he prayed the most beautiful prayer. He said, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief, right? Because this is a big deal, like to, to think that you could actually cure my son of his illness. I don't have that kind of faith in myself. You have to give it to me in order to have it. Now, you can destroy your faith. I mean, it's kind of like your marriage. You didn't earn the gift of your wife. That, that's a gift. You asked for her hand. She gave her life to you. And there's lots of ways to destroy your marriage. Lots of ways to destroy faith. You know, if, if you want to live a really shallow life, if you never think of the things of God, if you commit lots of sins all the time and you're acting in a way that's contrary to faith, if you never hang out with people of faith, all those things can destroy your faith. Doing the opposite of those things can tee you up for faith, right? But at the end of the day, you got to ask for it. It is a gift from God. It's a supernatural grace that enables you to do something you don't have the power by yourself to do. So, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. I want to believe more. So ask him. Ask him to help you believe more. And I think so many people are stalled out in this because they think it's up to them. It, the, the performance nature of things. I'm not doing enough. And then they start to feel guilty. And they think, well, gosh, and it seems so hard. But the very first thing we need to do is say, I can't do this on my own. And I love that. I, I wanted to ask you about that from the Bible when he says, I, I, I believe, but help my unbelief. Because yeah. it seems like a contrast, right? It does. If I believe, then why do I need help in my unbelief? Because our faith can always grow. And so what I want to do is just come before God and say, please, can I have more of that? Because I love it. And nothing in life is worth what I want without it. Amen. So, so let's pray now. Yes, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Give me more faith so that I can have more joy, more purpose in life. Faith is a gift from you. So, so give it to me and help me to guard it like it's the greatest gift ever. Amen.